so we can edit it later wherever. Okay, so what we're talking about, Ranjan, is a question of, 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 of gatekeeping, which is a form of censorship um, by controlling the distribution channels of information. So it, 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 it limits access to an audience. Now, audiences are for sale in the commercialised internet. That's what Google Ads is about. It's what advertising on Twitter, advertising on Facebook and advertising on YouTube. That's what it's about. That, that those, that those advertising slots are sold by the platforms. Um, so that's when people say, you know, if it's free, you're the product. OK, yeah. that, that's, that's what that means. So. the the section of the audience that's for sale and who can access it is it, it's one it's a question of how much your budget is but not necessarily that alone it's also what your message is um and if your message doesn't fit in with the large corporate budget then your history now on that point the other day i downloaded and watched um Mrs. Caldicott's Cabbage War. OK, it's a novel written by Vernon Coleman that was made into a film. And the film stars John Alderton and Pauline, uh, whatever, she's, she, she was quite a famous Collins? actress. I mean, Collins. Is that Pauline name? Collins, yeah. So she's very well known. I mean, it's a, and it's a really good film. I watched it I yesterday. I think she's won an Oscar for something. I think, was she in My Left Foot? I don't, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think she was, yeah. But anyway, it's a really good film. Now, that's relevant. There's one scene in it, okay? It, it is, um, her, this is funny. Her, her son is a property developer who swindles her into signing away her rights to her home after her husband dies and puts her in a care home. The care home is badly run, okay? Um, the, 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 the guy in charge of the care home is played by John Alderton and Pauline Collins plays the woman that's put in the care home and given various drugs and all the rest of it. Uh, she, come, she comes to and leads a rebellion, OK, and they basically smuggle themselves out and uh, they go and stay in a nice hotel because um, she's still got some of her own money even though her son sold the house, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she's staying in the hotel. The editor of a big newspaper, here's the story. She goes on a chat show. Um, and basically then what happens is, is this editor of a newspaper is in the audience, takes a shine to her. He quite fancies her. Um, and uh, uh, they go back to the hotel after the television's uh, television talk show, which is which is supposed to catch her out, but she sort of wins over the audience, and it's very funny. Yeah. They, they they go back to the hotel, and the hotel manager says, "I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave tomorrow. Why? We've got another booking." And she says, "Well, prove it. Prove you've got another booking. I, you know, I don't believe you." And he says, "I don't have to prove anything to you. Blah blah blah." Uh, anyway. The the guy who's the editor of the newspaper comes back and says, oh, um, well, maybe you don't have to prove it. But he said it will be interesting when it appears on the front page of my newspaper tomorrow. Right. And uh, um, where about and it turns out that it's her son that has threatened them. Because her son, I think, I don't know if his company owns the hotel or whatever, and has put the guy up to it. So, and the story goes from there. But that's that's an example of what I was just saying about if you're if you're a big advertiser, you will outgun a small advertiser, even if you're paying for access to the audience. So that's how the type of message gets controlled. Okay. Now, so. Why is that important with respect to Wikipedia, which is, you know, free, open source, blah, blah, blah? Well, um, it's relevant 
because um, it, it does rely on donations. Um, the the guy associated with it always is Jimmy Wales. Married he to found a, it. Ma married to one of Blair's uh, close ones. Okay, well that's not relevant. But he 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 um, he co-founded it with a guy called Larry Sanger. Larry Sanger has been involved as a consultant on a thing called Everypedia, which is a blockchain-based thing, and he's also a consultant to Ballotpedia. And he's he's like the wiki. Uh, it grew out of a thing called Newpedia, and he he's the computing bod, um, and a jolly good egg he is too. So Vernon Coleman, who wrote the, the 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 film or wrote the book that was made into the film, I just told you about Mrs. Codicott's Cabbage War. Um, <clears throat> makes a video, okay, about his Wikipedia article, okay. Sorry, um, Vernon Coleman makes a video about his own Wikipedia article, as in about that's his entry. That's right. His own entry. About the entry about him, okay, and from the way that he frames the video, I he, he in the past have tried to get them to remove the, 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 the article because he didn't like it and didn't want it, right? Um. Now, famously, he made the video on YouTube, which went viral, OK, took him by surprise. And this was back last March, March 2020. OK, before that, the article was, you know, it, it, it wasn't a brilliant article, but it certainly didn't attack him personally. As soon as that video appeared, criticising the COVID-19 narratives, and various things to do with that, bearing in mind that Vernon Coleman is a British medical doctor, general practitioner, etc., that used to be a, a TV doctor for the first breakfast television on British commercial television. He was the TV doctor. So the current guy that does that is Dr. Hilary Jones, or was... Now, his Hillary article, Jones has been on for 30 years, probably. Yeah. So, I mean, this goes back. I, I mean, I, I'm old enough to remember all the excitement around breakfast television. It, you know, yeah. it didn't used to exist. Now, Angela this, is, this is important to another point on, on, on this. Um, how do you prove you exist? How do you prove your identity? How do you prove what you've done before? A bit of paper, people go and look at the records, whatever. On the Internet... It, 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 it's it, it, and Wikipedia particularly you have to link to a reliable source what are reliable sources mainstream newspaper articles etc etc what's the problem with that well of course they're not all digitally available and of course the B we, we've been discussing how the BBC iPlayer is available for 24 hours for daily news then it's gone two hours right? uh for during the day so breakfast news 24 hours um news night for a month apparently but anything from nine o'clock till six o'clock in the morning is only available so, so, so here, here we come to the question are we talking about censorship here and i'm saying well actually no it, it's not censorship it's more subtle than that but vernon coleman's dr vernon coleman's video which encapsulates all of this in a 12 minute video on youtube about what happened with his Wikipedia entry, common in common with 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 the video he made about coronavirus, um, and in common with obviously his flair for writing and writing comedy. Okay, because that 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 Mrs. Caddicott's Cabbage, I, I I watched it with some trepidation, but I was at, I I fell in love with the film. It's a beautiful film. It's it's a very very nice film. OK, I would recommend anyone to do what I did, download it and have a look. Uh, you, you can stream it for a fee. It is, it is widely available and it is a good film. It's very well when acted. Did when did you watch it? I watched it yesterday. I mean, I, I you know, I, 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 I mean, I downloaded a torrent, etc. Found a torrent. I haven't <laughs> uploaded it. Um, it is available on, on YouTube or Daily Motion, but you can watch it on an official streaming service. Um, I, I just wanted to, you know, so, so I had it on as I was doing other stuff. I, I, I'll often watch a film when I'm working. Um, so, uh, and it's brilliant. I mean, I can remember the, I mean, I, I, you know, I can, 
I, I'm able to do that. So I, I've, you know, I've told you what the plot is and all the rest of it. So, I, I, but it was, it was, it was, it was engaging enough that that I actually, you know, um, I wanted to get the the idea of what it was or what was happening. And, and it, like I say, it is a brilliant, it's a great film. I mean, I, um, and uh, the the plot is is very interesting and very relevant actually to to what's happening to older people. Um, you know what's happened to obviously you. Okay. you you've got personal so, Roger, experience. You've told me. You've told me about watching the film. You've told me a little bit about um, the role of clout in the world of communication, particularly to do with sponsors. And you've also told me about Wikipedia. So I'm sure you're right. now going to let right. these things converge. So, so how is it censorship? Why is it censorship? Or is it censorship? What is it? Well, what it is, is it's, it, it controls access to the audience. Wikipedia is the fifth largest website by traffic in the world. OK, I think I, I think it's 3.93 billion visits uh, a week or something. I mean, it's, it's a huge number. Um, compared to Google 60 billion, by the way. So there's a bit of Pareto sort of distribution going on there, you know, the old 80 20 business. Um, now, but but Wikipedia is the fifth largest. Twitter is one step below it. Um, and Google obviously is number one. It's Google, Facebook, YouTube. Um, and, you know, that that that's basically um, when I last looked at it in, in data, the, the BBC came in at number 11. It's not even in the top 10, uh, but it's still, you know, it's globally. still very big globally. globally. Yes, it's still high. No. But yeah. Oh, well. Um, but again, it, it, it uh, look, I did a blog about this because I have talked about the size of the Internet and, and uh, how 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 how. how independent publishers need to combine to compete against the algorithms as they presently share out the audience okay so i mean i, I when i was working on grub street journal and how that should work in terms of a publishing platform and when i was liaising more with the open internet protocol people um uh with 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 devon and amy who are the uh, husband and wife team that have got that and the Library of Alexandria, which is the, you know, it, it's a, a brilliant platform. Um, uh, which also Patrick Byrne has got a, a company who came to prominence in the Trump election um, stuff. Um, he, he was the CEO of Overstock until fairly recently, but, but um, he's got another company called Medici Land, which uses distributed technology um, uh, the other people that use open inter uh, open internet protocol is a tomography database um, at, at, of MIT. Uh, tomography is to do with um, gene uh, or it, it, it's basically an index of uh, electromicroscope imaging of small things like viruses <laughs> it, 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 you know you see it all links up you know this is um and, and the way that those databases are made available medici land and, and the tomography database via open internet protocol is both secure but also open collaborative in the same way that a wiki is um but it, a wiki in the sense of um where there are ratchets, layers, there are standards, and this is Larry uh, Sanger's criticism of Wikipedia is is very dismissive of experts if the expert is saying something inconvenient to the in group, um, and uh, and the in, there are in groups on Wikipedia's Sorry, uh, at the most basic. Is, it, is this is this a criticism of Sanger? No, no, this is Sanger's criticism of Wikipedia, for which he was the co-founder. Has he moved on um, years ago yeah i mean oh, it, it, i mean sang it's a little bit like wozniak and um uh jobs uh, apple you know sanger is the brains 
and 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 and, and jobs was the mouth it's the, exactly the same. I mean, there's no question that Sanger is, 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 is the brains and, and, and Wales is the mouth when it comes to Wikipedia. I'm not saying he's not a bright guy and I'm not saying Jobs wasn't. But in terms of the, you know, who, who really understood what was under the bonnet, you know, it's Wozniak and, 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 and Sanger quite, 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 quite plainly. OK, um, yeah. So he basically said... It's a brilliant place for experts, but not if the expert isn't saying something. Well, he's not saying it's a brilliant place for experts. That's exactly what he's saying. And so in Ballotpedia, he published an essay talking about what neutrality is. Um, now, uh, in Wikipedia, the thing called neutral point of view as a uh, or, or, or. So there's a semantic argument in the sense of linguistic semantics, not commuted semantics now, um, as to uh, what um, what you really want in terms of uh, filtering information. And it, uh, in, in a similar way, it's another MP hard problem um, or solution to an MP hard problem where, where you have to adopt some sort of um educated guess or expert guess to, to aim in the right direction otherwise there isn't enough computing power on earth you know you 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 don't resolve you won't resolve the answer you know sorry what's the problem is the problem to do with how to include everybody yeah uh, well, the, in, the, uh, in the conversation that's, yeah that, that that's uh, that's that's several points so oh, sorry i'm jumping ahead there okay um the uh the, the the point that Sanger makes at its most simplest level is that that that, that um, people who know something about a subject are often rejected by mob rule on Wikipedia. OK, and uh, there's one. Uh, all editors aren't created equal. Um, you know, that there, there, there are all sorts of sneaky things that go on and people get fed up with it. Now, when I started doing some editing on Wikipedia, it's because I used to collect guitars and I was particularly interested in one particular type of guitar um, and started editing um, on different people that were famous for playing that type of guitar. I mean, it's very nerdy and all the rest of it. But I, I came up against this thing and I, and I you know, I mean, I, I used to collect guitars and, and, and uh, was interested in three day eventing, you know, basically com competition horses. Um, and, and so that's how I used to fill my days. And, and, and I started dead in the, I was, people were taking the mickey and my mates up the pub. So I'll say, oh, Rog, you know, what, what are you on about? You know, that's uh, what, you know, what a strange thing to do. And I sort of said, well, I'm, you know, I am interested in it. And, and, and I don't understand. So, sorry, are you saying that you, so, you love so guitars, the, you were on Wikipedia? This is back in 2009 when I, when I was living in Bristol. Yeah. And um, uh, that's where I encountered the, the, there are maximalist and minimalist editors or philosophers. There are two philosophies of editing Wikipedia, two main ones, and then there are sub ones. So there are like sects almost, you know, sects, S E C T S. Um, and uh, if you fall foul of one lot and it's in a subject which people that tend to other subjects that perhaps have a different philosophy, you're kind of on your own. Um, and lots of people that are expert in a subject. And, and I have to say, I was probably the world's leading expert on the on the Gibson Birdland guitar. You know, I mean, I, um, uh, I knew Billy and Amy Garland, who, who, who looked after Hank Garland. Hank designed the Birdland guitar with a guy called Billy Bird, who they were two famous guitar players in the 1950s. I mean, I, I am a uber nerd when it comes to Gibson Birdland. It's a holly, hollow body, um, uh, mandolin necked, short scale jazz guitar. You know, and I, 
I, I always wanted one because Ted Nugent plays one. I mean, I, I, I am the nerd of Birdland guitars. And I, I wanted to improve the article about them on Wikipedia. I mean, you know, I, I was a collect, a collect. That's what collectors do about stuff they're interested in. Um, and the the level of rudeness and and and, and you know, just yeah, I, I was quite taken aback. Uh, but and the, the rudeness you know, was coming from whom? Other editors. But what, what does that mean? Well, basically, people who start a page can get very, very protective of it. And then you have people who have ambitions that their their page should become adopted as, you know, the gold standard type of page, an exemplary page. You see, when when articles started, they're called a stub and you then want to have it adopted into the, the, the overarching project to do with a particular subject. And you can gain personal esteem and in-group esteem for, you know, being involved in in Wikipedia. It, it's you know it, it's for some people it's it's a hobby it's it's a, a almost an addiction as we are not down the pub uh -huh. i'm just going to very quickly say two things that i don't want you to currently respond to okay uh -huh. um firstly is i'm just wondering if there is any sort of connection between the type of thing that you're talking about and the stuff that we mentioned the other day when i told you i found that book on the cathars and then you mentioned in the name of the rose mm. and, and, and and something to do with knowledge and stuff like that. Mm. And then um, um, there was another thing that I was thinking or wondering about. But seeing as I've already forgotten, then. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, well, on, on yeah, the so, 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 yeah, there's an article on. Um, oh, dear. What's it called? The. Uh, there was a particular heresy that in the Spanish Inquisition was uh, was searched out for. Um, and it's a theme in Name of the Rose, etc., etc. And this heresy, what the local people where this sect of, of so-called heretics um, uh, lived the locals there called them cathars it was their nickname if you will or it was a vernacular term for them in in the local region okay um and 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 uh it's mentioned in passing in the film but goes into some detail actually in umberto um echo's novel um but you see wikipedia is a brilliant idea Vernon Coleman in his video says, look, it's a brilliant idea, but it's not worked. And Larry Sanger has said, well, it can work, but it, we need to go back to this one thing. And that is how experts are treated. Now, I'm no elitist, but it does seem to me that, that um, uh, levels of editing privileges, OK, being reserved for uh, Wikipedia generalists or subject specialists, there should be layers. I, I think there should be layers, sensibly speaking, you see, because there is a sandbox, uh, but you do want to encourage people to come in. When they're on that learning curve, there needs to be some sort of buddy system. Um, so what, what I've been um, blocked for at the moment is when you're actually editing something in live and someone else is doing it at the same time, you can get a conflict and, and the way that the code works on the page, you can lose your edit at the time and all the rest of it, which is quite frustrating. Right. Particularly if you when you know a lot about something. Right. But you want to help. Right. You kind of think, well, I'll just do this quickly. Right. Which so, so, means. So hold on. But what is the decision making process when it comes to an edit? I mean, for example, I, I was a, 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 anyone, anyone can edit and you can edit behind an IP address. You don't even have to have an account. Right. But if you it's better to have a named account and your own editors page, because then you can, if the system works properly, discuss with other people stuff you want to do. So the first point of entry is you see something and it needs to be changed and you know it's obviously wrong. 
you you're bold about it so you change it you put in your thing and if you're sure of the ground that's what you do and does it right? automatically change on the actual page yeah oh it just goes straight so there's no there's nothing to stop you from doing anything uh well in theory yes that's the case and and and, and um uh, however crazy that may seem, not many people attempt. There is a thing called vandalism. There are all sorts of things that people can do, um, but it, it it it's a community within which the general standard of behaviour is quite good, and it's the outlying cases that cause the bad reputational damage, which has been reinforced um, by people that. Um, basically game their you you can't call it insider knowledge but their their it's system knowledge and um it, it's more to do with with custom than convention um and and it is possible to game the system um as groups of editors sticking together now i I mean, I, 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 I'm thorough enough to find all this stuff, right? And, and the reason I, as I explained to you, that I'm interested in this stuff and thought, well, I'll, I'll spend the time because I, I, I know how all this works. But because I'm designing another software system at the moment, which is for collaborative design, open access um, with access to uh, layers of information where I've got a team of experts running on one layer, but I want a team of uh, customers to have a dosh, dashboard to access it, okay. Um, you, I, I'm actually in the middle. I mean, I'm not writing all the code and all the rest of it, but I, I mean, I know a lot about computers. I mean, I, I just do. And, and, and um, I, I um, in terms of briefing a software house to build what I need to build, OK, I know exactly what to ask for. I, and it, it, it's a continuation of all the work I did on Grub Street Journal. Um, and. Uh, Might that still be happening? With, 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 with wikis. With, well, uh, well, publishing, I mean, publishing in general. Yeah, the thing oh. is, with the thing with the thing with Wiki Ballot, <laughs> Grub Street Journal, it's it's time and investment okay and and um i i haven't got the time yeah or all the spare money at the moment to do i mean they're not priorities for me yeah but um the existing set of tools exist whereby people can take back control i mean i i spent an inordinate amount of time getting wiki ballot up and running and no one else is. I, I'm the only person that's ever done an edit on it. People don't. Um, and, 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 and it's not because there, there's a, a bad atmosphere. Anyone can do it. It's, it's like Wikipedia. It's, it's built on the Wikipedia open source code. Actually, as is you know Wiki what? You know what? Sorry for the distraction, but um, Hartlepool. Um, oh, right. OK, there's going to be a Hartlepool by-election. Wasn't yeah, Mandel and they on the MP for Hartlepool at one point. Yeah, and it would appear yeah. that a version of Mandelson is coming back because whoever it was that was the MP has been done for some sort of um, sexual misconduct mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. Anyway, yeah. you know, done, you know, whatever it was, he's resigned, and the um, the pool from which the Labour voters in that constituency can choose from for their candidate consists of a single individual i was one of those is it <laughs> yeah 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 so i don't know if he's actually from hartlepool he may well be but the point is <laughs> i'm uh, gonna say so I, I... You wouldn't be surprised if it was David uh, Miliband, would you? Well, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't do that. Uh, but, uh, uh, Keir Starmer is, is not, it, you know, he's for the knackers block after the local elections if they go ahead. Yeah, exactly. So um, so Hartlepool is a wiki ballot opportunity, if one were to think mm. about that. 
Another thing is, of course, you've got the mayor's election. Well, with the by-election on Wiki Ballot, the Newport West by-election, several other by-elections, I did articles and all the rest of them. Wiki Ballot is designed for people. I remember. To, yeah. I remember you telling me I, that. It, it's a very good plat. A wiki is a great place to do that. And I, like I say, I mean, I, I have put a lot of work into it, but yeah. I mean, it's not the finished article. I mean, I, I, I did want to go a bit more bespoke because I've got ideas for it. But I mean, I, I made a long video about how it all works. Well, just I mean, to I say got... this, just to say this, um, when you did all of that, which may be three years ago or even four. It was it was 27, 2018 you maybe did it? 2018, I think it was. Yeah, because I remember when you were doing it. I remember you saying, I'm doing this, which means I'm going somewhere. I might not be here for a few days. I'm there. I'm doing that. I'm concentrating. So then, but because at the time I had quite a lot of stuff going on, it's only now that you've said it that I've remembered, oh, you've put all this work in. I've not used it. I did look at it um, at a certain point. Um and now I realise it's a brilliant tool for journalists, isn't it? Potentially. It's a... Well... Yeah. A, anyone can... Act, a, a, Wikipedia is a brilliant term, t uh, tool for journalists. And I'll tell you... And, and all the actions on the talk pages and, and on the archived talk pages, as well as the archived... Um, archived history of, of the main article because that's where the discussion takes place and it's within the discussions that you have the answer and encyclopedia is supposed to give a summary of a bunch of information the beauty of a wiki is that all of all of the discussion that leads to the summary should be there now um it's a little bit linear and uh one direction uh in uh, uh, a wiki. This is Ted Nelson's criticism, and and Xanadox and Zigzag and all the rest of it has the information going. Uh, it can go horizontally, vertically, diagonally, um, and so all of the information nests back to each other. That's what that Rome thing is. You know the Rome thing that you sent me the link to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's that's what that does. I mean, when I saw that, I mean, that um, and the, the whole point is, Ranjan, that all information gets its meaning from context. And it's pedigree, if you like, of where it came from, which is what the notable source thing is getting at with Wikipedia. Um, but that runs into a problem with wikipedia pretty quick which is really evident from vernon coleman's case because dr vernon coleman uh was at his peak in terms of the public eye in the mid 80s okay into the nine the 1990s well the, in the the internet didn't start taking off until 1995 okay um and and um with 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 changes in coding so so for instance um the adobe flash has now been phased out yeah um so uh, early programming languages okay um and, and 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 platforms on which people were running things um no longer work so, for instance, there are still some government programs running, running on Windows XP, which are an absolute security nightmare because they're not being patched anymore. Um, and and, and um, so it's a problem even with stuff that was digital at one point. But for um, more, not even obscure uh, uh Um, think of published, even published academic papers, published books, published even newspapers. Like when I said to you the other day, the Times, Times top bestsellers. The bestsellers. List. I can't find it, man. There isn't. It doesn't. It's not there. And so, if someone says I had a top fifty Times bestseller in in, in nineteen seventy five. 
Yeah, this is. I'll tell you the best point about this one. It's when people say um, things like, um, uh, "Was it George Washington said you shouldn't trust everything you see on the internet?" <laughs> uh, do you know that sums it up? That sums up the problem. But going the other way, going the other way, and this is this is the point that Ted Mel. This is the point about zigzag and about Zanu dogs is that it does go either way as you build up the data database, um, and so uh, th that is that's part of part of the problem with. Um, how something like Wikipedia can silence a still brilliant voice, albeit a dissenting voice. I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't actually find Vernon Coleman ter terribly uh, eccentric, which I think probably says more about me than than than, than Doctor Doctor Coleman. <laughs> but but uh, you know, um, he, he he he's he's very English. Um, but he's a is that, proper is that your way of saying is that your way of saying Runjan, the man essentially argues from first principles what's so strange about that is that what you mean yeah. really is that what you mean well i mean he, he wrote a book about cross dressing and things like that you know and and, and i mean I, he, he's he's a, he's obviously very charming he's he, you know he's the sort of person i would love to go out for dinner with i mean if i was still in the uk i'd be on the phone say because he he lives down in somerset uh, you know I, I would have been on the phone saying look you know um i'd like to i i'd, I'd really like to go out to dinner with you and your wife would you like to join me and my partner for you know i because I, I like can reaching I you, out to people. I, I know the real reason why you want you would you would want to go out for dinner for, with him uh why is that additive intelligence Indeed. I, I mean, I, I, uh, people like Dr. Vernon Cat, uh, uh, Coleman have added to the intellectual life of of the nation over the years, and we should be grateful for it. And that doesn't mean you have to. I, 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 I feel the same way about Peter Hitchens. I don't agree with everything he says. But, you know, um, so. These popular public intellectuals. You know they should be treasured. I mean, I, I mean, I've got mixed feelings about Boris at the moment, but you know, in the same way, um, I, I, I've, I've got to say, I mean, I, Dr. Vernon Coleman for me would make a much better prime minister than Boris or his dad, to, to my own way of thinking. But you um, were about to say something in defence of Boris, weren't you? I know you were thinking something. So well, no, that's fine. I, I, no, what, what Please I was thinking, open I was thinking, up on it. I'm now interested. There, there I'm not are, saying I'm not going to cancel you, Roger. Don't worry. No, no, I, I don't worry about that sort of thing. I mean, you know, we're friends. I mean, we we can. You know, <laughs> we, we can I know, but come open. on. <laughs> it's very rare that I get to actually wind you up. Come on, I tried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it just occurred to me when I was talking that, that obviously Boris is a journalist. Uh, he's not a medical doctor. I mean, he, he he's a failed classicist on, 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 you know, by my measure. I mean, Mary Beard is, is, is just, you know, in a different league, which, which is quite is quite clear. Um, and, and uh, but, you know, that's not to say that, 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 that Boris doesn't have, you know, um, some some facility in, in in that 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 area of knowledge uh so you know I, like you know also his dad uh, have you re read his dad's winning poem from the early 60s he won a poetry prize which was also won by oscar wilde back in the day and it is actually a beautiful poem i, I did seek it out find it and read it and it's a really nice poem uh -huh. You know, uh, no, a good, a good, you know, it's a good poem. Um, and and uh, so, you know, I'm, my view is, well, credit where credit's due, even if you disagree with people. You know, and I, that's um, that that that's what discussion, getting to better answers, asking better questions, or you know, so on, so forth. Um, can and, I just can I just say, if you're going to come out with killer lines like um, uh, George Washington said, "Don't believe everything that you read on the internet," then um, when on the subject of Johnson, I'm reminded of the appearance 
on some US television show of Roy Cohn, who was at one point Mr. Mm-hmm. Trump's lawyer, and uh, Gore Vidal. Have you seen that clip? There's a two, uh, there's a two yes, of them next I think to each other. I, I, yeah, I think I have. Yeah. At the end of it, you know, so they've gone, you know, they've gone for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, um, I think at the time, Cohn had just brought out a book about McCarthy. Um, right. And, and, and Cohn, who was obviously... Cohn, he, was, who at, he was McCarthy's lawyer too, wasn't he? Yeah. And, and Cohn, yeah. who at the time was obviously probably doing quite a lot of work with mm-hmm. Republicans or something like that, I would imagine. Anyway, they're both looking relatively young in the thing. But um, uh, at the end, the host says, uh, Mr. Cohn, have you got anything nice to say about uh, Gore Vidal? And so because Cohn does know what to say always, he just says, oh, Gore Vidal, you know, eloquent, blah, 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 blah. You know, like that. So, you know, boom, like that. And then afterwards, he goes to Vidal. I don't know if it was a setup or Vidal, but Vidal acts as though, you know, he he doesn't act as though he's surprised to be asked the question. But just very as a matter of fact, he says, I think it's absolutely brilliant the way in which Roy Cohn has managed to stay out of jail. <laughs> and with the, the straightest of faces, yes. it was like expensive yeah. shot on the cricket. It was just like like that. You know, do, do, you know, not too, not too flamboyant, but just dumb. Mm. Ooh, uh, Gore Vidal uh, was 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 a wicked, wicked, wicked wit. It has to be said. <laughs> so that's that's that, that's the thing that I suppose is you know because you can't just you can't just ignore Johnson or Kamal as I like to call him, but um, mm. you know, why well, is the prime minister? Well, he's seen better oh, days though, hasn't he? But yeah. Okay. I, has he? I... <laughs> oh, I don't know. I hope so. I mean, when you forget, I, 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 I'd already moved out of London when, 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 when it came to the Johnson regime. You see, so I, you know, I, I've, I've really no experience of, of. Uh... So I don't. Like I said, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I. We're in the I, middle of a cultural revolution. Certainly a revolution. I mean, there's so many things going on at the moment. I forgot to tell you earlier on today on uh, Google, um, I typed out site colon dot gov dot UK um, colon PDF mm. and um, then typed out, you know, recent type right. yeah. hour and something's just come out on standards in public life and stuff like that, uh, right. as well as all of the other different things that are going okay. on. Okay. Well, well, look, we, 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 we wanted to keep it reasonably sure. Yeah, so what have we, what well, have we, what have we missed I, out? Well, hold on. Let me just... Uh, uh, let me just... Uh, here we go. Right. Uh, is that the oldest edit? How to close it? Right. Um, no, here we go. Uh, don't go away. Let's have a look. Um, right. I created the main page for... Wiki tactical voting on the 15th of April 2019. So it's coming up to two years. Okay. Okay. And 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 it really is a good site. And of course, it, it's based on the same uh, source code as the Wikipedia. It uses Wikipedia Commons. It's it, it's on something called Mihari's, which is a pre-packaged wiki thing. So all of the back end is done by them. Right. Um, is that open I, source? I, yeah. Um, and and uh, so Ballotpedia is that there, there are other sort of voting wiki type things. Um, some of them distributed and all, you know, uh, you know, not not off centralized servers and stuff. But the idea of this one, it was it was an interface between the distributed web. Uh, so so there are various articles on here about um, blockchain based voting. Uh, solutions, um, I- including uh, uh, one on, on on the same same blockchain that Everpedia is on top of. Um, uh, yeah. So so anyway, that, that that's that's a slightly different question. But um, are wikis useful? Are wikis cool? Yes, they are. Um, the coolest wiki is Tiddly Wiki. It's a brilliant computer science in, in Kerry. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Jer- Jeremy. I mean, I get uh, Germaline is his handle on on GitHub. Um, yeah, I mean, he he 
he gave a, an excellent talk with the guy that wrote Erlang, um, which is a computer language. Germany, what's his name? Tiddly Wiki guy? Germaline is, is with a J, J for Jeremy. Uh, hold on, I can tell. I, I, I get his, his stuff comes through to me all the time. Where are we? Um, just find the right email account. That all that stuff comes in on. Um, here we are. Let's have a look. It'll be... Oh, God, Tiddly. Yeah, Tiddly Wiki and a Breaker, Beaker Browser. There we are. Uh, Tiddly Wiki. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's uh, J E R M O L E N E. Tiddly Wiki 5. Jeremy Ruston is, is what he's called. Um, and, and Tiddly Wiki it, it, it is a very small uh, distributed wiki which which allows you to interface with well with the internet um i mean i don't want to go into a whole i don't want to get into all of that it's it's not where i wanted to go with this what 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 is important is that wikis are very useful and wikipedia itself is an amazing achievement uh, and there is a lot of good information on there uh, but it's as with all uh, databases uh, it's a question of knowing how to interrogate that database. So, for instance, the data on on Twitter can be used in very, very powerful ways. Um, I, on my blog, I did a thing about um, uh, uh, charting Brexit. Very good uh, computer programmer, put up all sorts of uh, you know, linkages, trackage flows, all the rest of it. So you uh, and he did a post sort of where's Boris? I mean, I, I, I mean, I've, I've written extensively about all of this stuff, Ren Jan. Um, information, like I said, is to do with the context that you put it in um, and how searchable it is and how you search for it. Now, that's that's one way of interacting with it. Now, uh, what censorship is is for or the way it works on Wikipedia is in, in the case of um, Dr. Vernon Coleman is it works on several different levels. Um, and what what you don't want to do is someone that's got a dissenting voice. You don't want to let people be able to find them. Right. So. Um, it's effectively being hidden in plain sight. The article is still there, right? Now, I can tell you why they want to hide him. It's because that article had had 100,000 views up until the video he put on YouTube. Um, and since that video went up, it's had over, it's had a, a, an additional 450,000 views. Okay, so, um, it was there because it was notable, but he's a notable person. No, no one really was paying any attention to anymore. Obviously, people were still buying his books and what have you. Um, but um, he made this message and people thought, well, bloody hell, this guy knows what, what he's talking about. What do you do? You go, oh, he's got a Wikipedia article. They started reading it. Right. And because what he was saying wasn't popular, it's been changed. Right. Now, as I say, I'm not. I. I don't think no platforming and, and trying to discredit someone um, uh, dishonestly is a bad thing. Um, and uh, so I am interested in it at, at that level. But I'm, Hold on. You've never said that before. You just what? said, did you mean what you said? Did you just say, I don't think no platforming is a bad thing? No, I don't think it's a good thing. I, I, okay, I think yeah, it's yeah, terrible. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I thought, I thought, I thought, yeah. I know that's where yeah. you stand. Yeah. You say if yeah. somebody has something to say, let them say it. Absolutely. And everyone can judge yeah. for themselves. Re Re refute, them talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Refute, refute the arguments. If yeah. you've got a problem with what they're saying, articulate. You know, yeah, Get on with it. Yeah. Um, but that's not what happens. And, and, and so it's an example of. Um, a mendacious kind of filtering of, of, of you know, 
speak quietly, we can't let the bit heal children here. OK, rather than people making up their minds for themselves. Now, John Ward posted a video of. Um, oh, I watched another very unpopular uh, Hopkins, Katie Hopkins. All right. She, she's she, uh, about all the nudge stuff and the um, trying to. Uh, uh, she was talking about the nudge stuff. Yeah, persuading people to have the vaccine and all this sort of brilliant video. Um, uh, yeah, hold on a second. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's John, one of those, John, John posted it. He, it's he, one of those occasions where, unfortunately, I probably agree with her on this because um, I don't actually like um, certain aspects of her, most of them. But um, if Come she's on. if she's asking questions about the vaccine, then I encourage that. But there you go. Well, I don't encourage it, but I feel it. You know, I don't. Look, I... Now. I mean, if I disagree with her on things, and there are lots of things I disagree with her on, but the one, but you know, I'm interested to hear what she's got to say. In the look, I'm interested in what Dan Hodges had to say to Peter Hitchens, both of them at the moment in terms of where it goes. Uh, um, I, you know, I, it, it's people's own business whether they choose to have a vaccine or not. I mean, that's not, you know. Uh, what I'm interested in is that the information is out there, that the question should be asked. I mean, I, and, and, and that, so Sanger gets to the point when he sort of says, if you look at um, Donald Trump's Wikipedia article and you look at Barack Obama's Wikipedia article, it, it, in fact, he's written a blog about the whole thing. And, and there are scandals which affect Obama, which aren't in the article. They've been edited out. Whereas the kitchen sink is on on the Donald Trump article. Now, that is that there's no universe in which you can have such a double standard. In an encyclopedia. No fair universe. <laughs> well, well, any intellectually honest universe. Yeah, OK, OK, OK. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So, you know, that's that, that, that's that's what this is all about. So at a political level. At a um, manufacturing of consent level, right? There's this conjunction of stuff coming on, and and I've spent time on the Vernon Coleman thing because it's a it, it's a perfect example of how this sort of um, distribution inhibition works in modern media and digital media. And the control levers can be uh, manipulated to produce, and you can see in real time how they do it with one individual. The other interesting one is 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 Piers Robinson, um, who's a professor of propaganda, um, and, and his article which hardly anybody's looked at, but he's the one that noticed that, that his article was fiddled with uh, when he was involved in a group that was outspoken about Syria um, and the uh, OPCW reports and various white helmet exploits, etc., cetera, um, uh, which were badly reported by Bellingcat and others. So... You know, that's that's what's interesting. Um, uh, um, what's really interesting for me uh, is that it's a, it's it's like a live fire exercise for me to get deep down into the semantic structure um, and uh, uh, of, of of basically the layers within Wikipedia, because the what we're doing in our homatics dashboard is a mixture between Logic Pro, GarageBand, um, Wikipedia uh, and um, uh, Everypedia and Wikiballot. Uh, it, it's a conjunction of what now is possible with distributed computing, two way linkages, Ted Nelson, all of that stuff. I mean, I, I actually with with um, with um, Grub Street Journal, the point I got to, I, I, I got to the point where I felt I could adapt the Stellarium source code for a wiki type 
uh, uh, user panel. And the, Stellarium is, is, is an astrology software. Astronomy rather, not astrology, astronomy software. And of course, so you've got all the different stars and it's obviously in three dimensions and there are lots of them. And so uh, astronomy software for me was the closest thing to to implementing Ted Nelson's visit uh, 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 vision for Xanadu, um, and it uh, and it just is that 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 is one ready-made application. Um, a, a, another instantiation of of that software would be very very useful for um, uh, interrogational databases uh, employing you know the, the the latest graph database technology etc. Um, I, so I'm, I'm interested in property development rather than software development. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm much more interested in the built environment than I am in, 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 uh, in the digital realm because I like the real world and I like real people. Um, so, you know, you said earlier when, when I went and looked at Wikiballot, I, it, it's a place I don't like going. Like I go to another place when I write poetry and I, I really like being there. You know, uh, I have to stop myself going. Um, I'm but, guessing you know, write the poetry before you get there. No, well, that's not how poetry happens. I mean, R Robert Graves gives a wonderful um, explanation of, of, you know, he doesn't know where or he didn't know where his poems came from. They just come. You just have to, you know. Um, I'm sorry. Do you mean psychologically? I thought you meant um, like a website because I thought well, you meant. Here's, here's another interesting one. Um, Rupert Sheldrake's entry in wikipedia is very interesting um because there are various nasty names they call lots of other people which which they haven't got away with with rupert How come? Which is, i've no idea I, I haven't worked that out and i haven't dug into the history on it to, to find out um apart from he's probably one of the most brilliant people alive today and and, and uh you know you, you I think it would be very hard for anyone to um, pull a fast one on Rupert. I mean, I, I, he's just the, he's he's a very complete intellect. I find. I've so, got a little. I've got a little. Um, not that you know, we're not tabloids, right? Obviously, um, mm. but when the tape isn't running, if you were ever interested, which you know, it's not, it's not something that means anything to me. But I, there's something that I remember hearing that um, that I, I'll tell you later about that well anyway I, I made up a joke right with all of this um and i'm gonna i'm just gonna tell this joke at this point and sort of break things up a bit where are we uh where are we home uh where did i write it let's have a look uh right here we go my magazines now so where are we there we are this is it right so let's just uh so here's my joke i put it on a, a, a tweet right okay peter hitchens dan hodges and david ike walk into a bar Hitchens turns around and says, uh, match fixers don't pay. Hodges says, well, it's not my round either. Gatekeepers don't buy. And David Icke says, well, I guess I'm paying, you know, leave it to the goalkeeper. And now I think that's hilarious because it's a comment on goal, uh, gatekeepers, controlled opposition. You know, well, what's David Icke then? And of course, well, he's a goalkeeper, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is Hitchens a match fixer? Because of the because of the role that he played, the inflection point where he basically said, what? "I give up, I give up, he, I disagree, he, but I give up. Everyone, give up with me." No, uh, it, you well, talk about that right. in particular, it's or something kind of else? Match, yeah, yeah. It's kind of match fixing in the sense that controlled up, 
control opposition doesn't fit into the sort of the meter of the joke. You can't say I, I'm the controlled opposition. You have to and, and match fixing is controlled opposition. Yeah. So and and and, and uh, so gatekeeper, match fixer, and goalkeeper works. There, there's a there's a rhythm in that, and you need rhythm in a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as as well as the you know the contrast or the you know yeah the... because I saw I saw some of the visual aspect oh. of that joke uh, in my notifications because mm. I had a lot of notifications. Uh, you know, occasionally I go bang, 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 and I like an IRT. So I remember thinking, hoo, 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 because I didn't see the whole thing. Mm. I just saw the beginning because yeah. only the beginning the, comes up in the blurb part. So I remember thinking, ooh, I can I can see where we are here. My All the lexical yeah. priming was all there. And so I remember thinking, right, OK, the components, where's it going, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So obviously the, the, the big one for me, lexical priming wise, the, the, the filing cabinet it, it, that it, I was. It's, it, it's the turd in the punch bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the cabinet that it was being drawn from was the one uh, was the same metaphorical world of moving the goalposts. Yeah, uh, you know, it was all part of that. So I remember thinking, ah, I know what this is because uh, I could see the first, second, third. So I saw match fixing. I saw gatekeeper. So what was interesting for me was gatekeeper. Uh, where I went with gatekeeper. Obviously, you're thinking goalkeeper, but where I went yeah. with gatekeeper, I realised it was moving the goalposts. Was was what you were talking about, and I also realised it was. Um, it made me think of the goal hanging. You know, the str the guy who hangs around. Yeah. But but you know, David Icke was a professional goalie. Coventry City, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Coventry then afterwards, he did the sports, and, and then he did Wogan, right? Exactly in the tracksuit. And, and the if you look in this blog, I, I put their I've put their Wikipedia articles up. Mm. I've also extracted their how many people have looked at the pages like David Icke has had 5.3 million views since the article went up. Peter Hitchens has had 1.7 million and Dan Hodges has had 560,000. OK, um, and Sorry, you mean you mean their wiki sites? Yeah, but no, no, their page on Wikipedia. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, say that again. Burning, say, can burning. you give me the numbers? Can you give me the numbers again? Uh, David Icke, 5.6 million, I think it is. Um, uh, Peter Hitchens, 1.7 million. Um, Dan Hodges is half a million in a year, roughly. No, 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 since the articles went up. Right. Um, interestingly, Vermin and Coleman's had about the same number as Dan Hodges. Dan Hodges is an even distribution with a few spikes, whereas Vernon Coleman's go up after his video. It's obvious that. You know, they've all come in the last year with an article that's uh, th that's data from 2015 to now. Brilliant. Um, and, and, and of course, if you know about uh, you see that information, OK, is all in the back end of of of, of the Wikipedia article Amazing. and actually accessing that information and recombining it to look at different stuff. That's your blog post. Okay. You did that in your blog. I, I haven't put any pros, any computer programmer or anyone that knows about databases will know what I'm getting at. But that's not I don't need to explain that. The, the point is the Vernon Coleman, his videos on the I, I mean, I've put three Yumpu magazines together with this stuff. Right. With all of the relevant pages from Wikipedia all of the relevant policies, right? Because that is all relevant to what I'm building for the dashboard for my yeah. customers at the moment. Yeah. And so I need to look at all this stuff so I can basically so I can brief my my programmers who I'll be paying to write the dashboard for me. Yeah. And, and you know, um, I, I, I've got a conference call uh, this afternoon. UK columns on in a minute. Well, it's on. Um, so so. Uh, Part of the reason I wanted to get all this done before the conference call I've got this afternoon is that we're talking about the algorithm, um, which will interrogate the data set which gets generated by the user interface. Right. This is your customers' preferences. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's their it's their collaborative design input too. Build. their own 
their own development, which has access to the building information management of the actual, what used to be called blueprints of the actual development. Yeah. Okay. Um, They're designing their house. Yeah, their apartment and also the context or, or, you know, the things like decisions about common parts, things like landscaping. Things really? like manage, management so, decisions. You know, there's a whole bloody thing. I mean, it, it, oh, so they're crowdsourcing. Can, they're crowdsourcing not just their own little where they live, but the whole environment. I'm giving them the tools to do that. Yeah, that's I'm selling that as part of my 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 product for my for, for my um, my uh, twenty five to thirty fivers. My, my my reluctant ten percenters. That's almost hippie in the commune aspect uh i mean you know i'm talking about i'm talking about you know the bit where you choose where you it's kind of it's, almost like a cooperative it, it, it's it, well it is yes uh there's um oh what's it called um oh it's not Bauhaus. let me tell you what it's called there is a movement for doing it in a yeah. self build movement well i'm conscious that you've got to move on now so um i will let you well, we're we still going. We I, I, I'm working, uh, Ranjan. This is this is work. I mean, I'm getting my ideas out um, in in. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Wait. Well, there. in that no. case, Roger, I'm working too. So there. Yeah. Mike, um, great. Just just wondering. Um, was there anything in particular that um, you? Well, we're still also... we're still kind of. We, we, I mean, in terms of just. You're really good at summing up. Of what, so, um, I mean, obviously, I want, I would like people to look at the Yumpu magazines I've put together, uh, and people can go in any depth they want. If someone wants to learn to edit on Wikipedia, right, they can scan what I've put up, and they'll have a better idea of what they're doing and won't get frustrated by rude people being horrible to them at the front end, because they know what's coming. That, that's... Okay. Yeah. Um, hopefully someone will think, oh, well, yeah, that's interesting. Let's have a look at that wiki ballot thing, because okay. loads of people look at it. Lots of people are signed up to wiki ballot and absolutely no one has edited anything okay. apart from me. I mean, I, I, and, and I haven't got time. I mean, the tool is there. You know, the, well, it the might Hartley be my Pool turn. -election. Well, it'd be great if you did a Hartley Pool by-election page. I mean, it's, it's, it's all there to be done. Yeah, also at 6.30 today, because the thing is, Hartlepool, I don't know when that is. I reckon that's imminent. I'd like to think so. But um, in May, I assume, it's the London Mayor. And I'm not sure yeah, well, if I've, it's... I've got my no campaign for for because they're, they're voting on the Isle of Dogs local plan, which is, I, I think, it's anti-development. Oh, I forgot. And you've got your hammer and sickle. <laughs> is that is that on one of your things? Is it still yeah, there? Yeah, is that, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Oh, Roger, man, look, we've got to have to have another catch up. And by the way, you you thought I was being naughty earlier on when I referred to going onto Google and uh, typing out PDF. Okay. However, there is um, something extremely relevant in relation to that. As I said, I went onto Google and I was just looking for any government document that's been released today. Mm hmm. And uh, I think the public something, not public accounts, but the other one, you know, the, the, the one that monitors the civil servants, uh, that public something anyway. Mm -hmm. That committee has released uh, the submissions that were Stand, made. Standards in public services. That type of thing. Public life. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't that what Sedwell was you said that you looked at it yeah, the other yeah, day. Um, yeah yeah exactly so so but yeah. people's submissions organizations so basically there's a letter from eric pickles in there and there's uh in sussex there's some anti-corruption organization that i've heard of and there's another anti-corruption organization one of them has gone through point by point loads of things and one of them also includes um the relationship between generic and um what's his name our mate. Uh huh. Uh, anyway, it's called Bow Group Housing. Okay, there's a link to. The, I'm working with this firm of architects on thematics at the moment. So, right. There you go. Cabalgorithm Scabble. That, that's a firm of architects. 
Very naughty. Um, Cabal. And, yeah, Tom. Tom is one of the architects there. He's a doctor. Uh, and he's done all sorts of computing stuff and BIMs to do with architecture. And I've got a meeting with him, um, Dominic, my, my my Irving, who I mentioned yeah. earlier, um, and then also uh, 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 another another company that's organised this thing that we're doing. Oh, they're called. Oh, are they called. Let me tell you what they're called when we're on. Um, are you still there? I'm still here. Yeah, let me just. There we are. Where are we? Um, but I'm probably going to sign off in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Because I know you. Aku. A K O U. Tilly Aku. I've been. I mean, she put me in touch with um, Dominic and Tom Scabble after I explained to her how our dashboard worked and all the rest of it. And now, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it's really, really exciting. I mean, you know, it's, it is absolutely revolutionary what I've been developing. Um, and, uh, you know, like Bow Group House, and which I just sent you the link to there, um, it is the idea for in, in, a, in a social cooperative uh, crowdsourcing, you know, social housing point of view. Um, my, my, my point is, it's not everybody wants to live in a cooperative or a commune, uh, but that collaborative design stuff can work commercially and part of the answer to the housing problem in the UK is to actually do that and the tools that we're developing will you know it'll be open source it will it will be free I will open source it I mean I'm not not not, not I'm not looking to make money out of that part of it I, I mean I, I'm a property developer I make a profit on delivering the buildings from my factories yeah, because it's it's offsite manufacture. I mean, it, it's a, um, you know, no no one has understood the possibilities of this. N nobody's got further down this curve than I have. I, yeah. I, 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 like I say, I mean, I'm, um, you know, there there are very few things I know a lot of stuff about, and one of them is property development. You know, the other one is computers, but you know that's another thing. But and and I'm learning about Wikipedia. <laughs> Well, additive intelligence, I happen to be around yeah. you sometimes, so um, I'm picking a little bit up here and there too. Yeah, well, yeah, so anyway, that, that, that's, that, that's, that's it really. Um, so, uh, at this juncture, the Vernon Coleman thing should be a big story. Peter Hitchens and, 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 and how he's been bullied, I, I would say he's been bullied. Um, and uh, that's quite a turnaround because the same thing happened to Dan Hodges because because you know when they were having their toing and froing, um, Dan Ho Ho Hodges had, you know, I'm I'm not saying that 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 they haven't changed their minds or whatever. Well, Peter Hitchens says he hasn't changed his mind. It, it's just more convenient to to go along with it. Yeah, he said um, he's got family somewhere yeah, and he yeah. wants to go and see them. Yeah, which I mean, I, I, and, and that's his that's his choice. That's absolutely fine. Um, what, yeah, what, but, yeah, but, the, but the issue that Vanessa Bealey said was, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine, but please don't tell people that you know that you know don't tell people in that way, yeah. in quite that way, please. Yeah. yeah, well, this is you know why are people upset? And 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 so yeah, I get that I've been involved in some of that too. In fact, Peter responded to one of my tweets. Right. Which, which, you know, that doesn't happen very often either, because lots of times I'll tweet and they don't even appear in my feed. And I asked him to. Do, I asked him to. I told you I bumped into him a couple of times around London, just on the street. But um, I asked him to do something once, not that long ago, on email, and um, he told me that whilst it was something that he would love to do, he said our lawyers would have kittens. Yeah, the the thing is, that's, that's he's, part of the same thing. He, he's a gentleman, and he's he's from a naval background. My mentor in 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 business and life was Commander Joseph Billingham, who who was a, a, a basically he was a flyer in the Royal in the Fleet Air Arm, and and also worked in the Admiralty for 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 uh, you know the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Or, or, I mean, it, 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 Joseph got the Harrier in the Navy, and. Um, uh as in he sold it no bought it right 
um, and uh, or was involved. In, I mean, like you know, uh, and I, I, I've got nothing but affection and admiration for the Navy, and you know, the, the, there's a certain formality which, which in in Peter, which is is very naval. It has to be said. But that you know that, that doesn't phase me in the slightest. I mean, I do. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Um, and it, in the same way, I think uh, Dr. Vernon Coleman is brilliant too. You know, and 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 they're just quintessentially English gentlemen. Not then, you know, English gentlemen. They're not British in 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 that wider sense. In the same way that I'm a Welsh gentleman. Can I just give um, you a quick unlike? Unlike. Reese Mogg. Ah, uh, well, I, I'm sorry. See, I, yeah, there's I'm sorry, certain... but he seems to be pro ID cards now. Suddenly, etc., yeah, etc. Et yeah, et yeah, et that's it, not cool. Yeah. That no, is. I agree. That's yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. The thing is, Ranjan, as well as you, you're quintessent, you're you're a quintessential English gentleman too. You know, you can take you can take the boy out of St Paul's, but you can't say take St oh, Paul's out of the boy. Eh? I, well. <laughs> No, well, no, but you, you know, I was prepared that, to that, accept that, it until then. Mate, 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 <laughs> mate I'm you know, more that, Chris that, Eubank yeah. than I am George Osborne, but there you go. <laughs> well, but Chris, Chris is also an English. I haven't told you about the time I had breakfast with Chris, have I? I had breakfast with, with Chris and, and his manager at the time was a guy called Mel Steen. And Mel called me up one, one morning after a, a, a do where I'd met Chris, saying, Oh, Chris really wants to meet you. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, so I went back up to the hotel where the do was and had breakfast with him. Brilliant. Mm, him and Mel, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> make no, you he, he, Chris is, is, is an English gentleman. I mean, you know, that's, that's, there's no question about it. Well, yeah. it's been great talking to you, um, and it's been nice also, you know, just on the, you know, not just the fun, but knowing that the things that we've been talking about or I've been joining in with to do with wikipedia the crowdsourced mm -hmm. nature of it and one of the things that i was thinking and i might have written a note about it was the toss-up between what you were saying you know anyone being allowed to do it but then also the expert thing but what you end up is with it's not even binary well it is in that it's all or nothing so either you get what you get or you get nothing so it's not the it's you don't get the decision tree approach to what you see and so mm. you don't get to say you know what these guys agree on absolutely everything except this bit mm. um and then to see hey there's there's a disagreement here uh this lot disagree on everything except i mean agree on everything except this bit yeah you know so to be able to see that there's yeah. so much agreement but here the quibbling is there yeah. or there just just going back to the joke the, you know the what the uh no, 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 not that one. The, the, this is the, the, the gatekeeper, the match, match fixer, the match fixer uh, and the goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. Right? That joke. Um, in the blog, like I said, I compare their Wikipedia articles for viewings. But if you read the lead, which is the first paragraph of, of, of the articles, it's interesting what they say about each of them and then compare it to the one now for Vernon Coleman. The, the particularly interesting one is the one with Piers Robinson, who, who, who still it's vanishingly small. People obviously don't want. Look, number one, he's he's like a professor of of, of, of media studies or whatever it is, politics. Um, and uh, in fact, I might look at Adam's. Wiki, I know Adam's got a Wikipedia. Oh, hold on a second. Days, you, mean, think, you mean Adam Tickell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, before you go any further, can I just quickly ask you, did you just say, because I haven't looked at it yet, did you just say that in your blog post, you've compared the first paragraph of Match Fixer, Gatekeeper yes. and Goalkeeper, have you? Yeah, well, oh, there are cool. links to it. I, I haven't made any analysis. I've put them there. The point is obvious. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, because suddenly, because, after uh, everything uh, you've told uh, me... The, the, the article about David Icke is positively generous and glowing compared to the current state of the Vernon Colburn article, just from reading the first paragraph. Can I just say, speaking of which, I <laughs> happen... Hence the joke and goalkeeper, because, you know, it, it's, it's almost inconceivable. You know, I, I'm surprised they haven't deleted David Icke's article. Right, um, but, but it's the other way around. Okay, now uh, speak, speaking. So, so it sounds like the truly awkward person is Coleman uh, more than Ike. But anyway, um, 
Well, he, it's because he came he, he came from out of the blue, exit stage left sort of thing. I mean, basically, um, he's a very compelling communicator with all the skills and all the rest of it, with a hell of a CV. Can I can I just can I just bully my way? Onto so he's walked through the cracks, you see. Right. And, and, 400,000 views on that Wikipedia article, which is basically uh, four fifths, 80% of the views are in the last year. Okay. Prior to that, there's just next to nothing. So it, 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 it's, it, it, it was a massive, you know, several orders of magnitude, larger audience for someone who had published widely in areas which are under the microscope for critical minded people regarding this um, current uh, pandemic business and, uh, you know, treatments, vaccines, masks, all of those things. Came across this. Yep, I think no, it's no, is it by Mark Sked? Mark Skusen has taught oh, economics and finance at Columbia. Mercy College in is, Rollins. Is, is he related to Saskia Suskusen? Uh, different spelling, so I doubt it. Is it? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah S K O U S E N. Oh, my God. Yeah, apparently, apparently, people used to say is married and lives with wife in Connecticut in order to indicate that is not homosexual and possibly Russian spy. Uh, so over here, it says, the author is resting his arm on a first edition of Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations. In the background is John Trumbull's oil painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Um, on page 233 of this book, by the way, this is, I believe this is relevant. I'm looking at his Wikipedia article. <laughs> uh, okay, right, double relevant. Yeah. So, so it, I opened it up because um, I came across it. And on page 233, um, there is a little box. Although I have to say, no, he gets quite a few pages here. But there's a box here. By George, it's a conspiracy. So this is like a Wikipedia, except it's in print. By George, it's a conspiracy. To so is it, is it related to um, Cleon Scouson that wrote The Naked Capitalist then? Or is that a, is that a popular name in? Uh... I don't know. It does look like it's a Scandinavian name to me, Mark Skousen. Yeah, know. maybe it's a popular name because in, in, it doesn't say he's related. Yeah, he's a textbook. Oh, no, writer. no, here we are. He is the nephew of W. Cleon Skousen. Oh, there we are. That's interesting. All oh, right. They are related. Yeah. yeah, he's put this box in here. And he said to stop by George, it's a conspiracy to stop Henry George. The fortune hunters hired professors to corrupt economics and halt democratic dialogue. The use of that corrupted economics continues to this day. Mason Gaffney. So he puts that he puts that quote there and then he goes on and he assassinates this guy, Mason Gaffney, as a conspiracy theorist. Mm. Um, Henry George had to be stopped. So began Fred Harrison, director of the Center for Incentive Taxation in his co-authored conspiratorial history, The Corruption of Economics, 1994. Well, he's yeah. not wrong, is he? I mean, I don't agree with Austrians on everything, but, but um, that much we say is true. There's some very interesting articles on the um, von Mises website about Henry George and George's and libertarianism and Austrian economics and stuff. I mean, there are differences, of course. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but uh, this guy, this mm. guy is saying there's no conspiracy against George. He's right. saying there isn't. Yeah, he's well, saying there isn't. He's included someone who says there is, and then he guns that guy. Uh, well, no, it, 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 so well, this, this guy, the, this guy the, is saying there is no conspiracy against Henry George. It, for example, here, um, there's a bit where it says, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, despite the gra this grand secret combination, Georgists c uh, claim that Henry George's Progress and Poverty is the most influential economics book ever written, having been translated into 25 languages and having outsold all books except the Bible. Then in brackets, he says, never mind that, like the Bible, Progress and Poverty is often given away or sold below costs. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Conspiracy theories have abounded throughout history, advocated by wow. tight-knit political or religious groups filled with true believers, 
Followers uh, of Henry George fit this category in economics. Very, very interesting because he, he's um, there's another Scouser. Um, yeah. No, it's, it, <sighs> Suppression of certain works, it's very subtle. It'd be interesting to know whether or not he thinks there was any suppression of um, Carol Quigley's tragedy and hope, um, particularly as his uncle uh, was accused of plagiarising um, tragedy and hope in The Naked Capitalist. And The Naked Capitalist, there's a wonderful three way discussion, a, a, a dialogue. You'll find it on my blog. Um, and uh, it's also on the website, the Conquest of Doe website. Um, and it's uh, basically that there's a, a discussion um, between his uncle, Carol Quigley, which is kind of moderated by a third person. And, and, and it's a very, very, very interesting discourse to have a read of. OK, um, because... by the way, I, I, I found the um, notes on prosody. Uh, you were right. The Nabokov uh, thing from Ernegay Onegin. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want you sent me a Skype thing about that, and I wondered what. I, yeah, no, I, I just read, I just I read the page, and I, I I talked about tilts and whatnot. So I, mean, I was kind of thinking, blimey, I, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I mean, the reason why I was, in, I mean, I don't know if do you remember how I was telling you about some of the concepts that I came across when I was teaching, and it felt like that was absolutely it. The mm -hmm. the I, I think stuff to do with vowels uh being placed in certain patterns and rhythms and stuff like okay, that okay so you're talking about translating russian into english that's what he's talking about but yeah, i think that in, yeah, but, yeah. But, but very specifically just in english on its own because right. it's, it's, it's to do with translation he's basically yeah. he, he, he's okay. saying if you've got this thing that's a, a russian novel in the form of a poem and you're going to translate it into an english novel in the form of a poem mm. Then afterwards, how do you go about doing it? And what's everyone else saying about rhythm? And is it all bullshit? And what's what's where's yeah. it really at? So I think he's actually done quite a lot of work to produce that small thing. Mm. Uh, but that's all. Um, I, I'll send you a link. There's a I did a blog on that same question about something else, which, which um, uh, is quite interesting. It, uh, it's on the same point, not about poetry, but about general translation. OK, well, I'll let you I'll let you go now. Yeah. All right. We're talking to you. Talk soon. You Bye. too. Cheers, Ranjan. Bye.